Hello and welcome back. It's been some time since I did my last video, uh, maybe about a year now. And I know a lot of you have been asking me how I am and, and, and asking for updates. So here I am. I've been meaning to do this for some time now. Um, and the truth is I stopped doing the videos for a while because I got a little bit jaded and fed up about uh, uh, fed up of talking about my illness all the time. Um, I don't think it was very good for my mental health in the long run, and, and I needed to uh, I needed to take a break. I'll try and get through this as quick as possible, and um, it, it may lack a little detail because a lot of these things I haven't really thought of in some time. I don't have the doctor's letter. Well, I have them somewhere, and I can't find them, so I can't give you as much detail as as I was I would like. The last thing that I, I recorded and, and put out was about my 24 hour pH impendence test um, and the mammary testing. Now, all I can really remember from that was that they did discover high levels of acid in my esophagus, which we kind of knew was going to happen. But then they discharged me. There was no discussion of surgery or anything really else. Um, with my gastroenterologist, there was a discussion of trying um, a um, neuromodulator, which would be kind of more of a pain receptive medication and maybe even a, 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 an anxiety medication as well, where there was discussion that maybe I was um, sensing pain and discomfort more so than a normal person would through my acid reflux symptoms. Okay, um, I tried the neurotriptyline, it didn't work. Um, they put me on famotidine, if I remember correctly, that didn't work. Um, and then it was just over going through like a period of time where I just had reflux symptoms still, and I, I was just living with it to be honest, and kind of not really trying to fix myself per se just kind of right I've got this now it's part of my life I just have to be careful with what I eat and what I do and, and, and that kind of thing was I careful not really not not for a lot of it a lot uh, I was probably you know still drinking when I wanted to eating foods I wanted to to be honest the last last year or two has been quite I mean the last few years have been stressful obviously because of what's been going on and yeah, I uh, I tried a few things. I went to see a, a naturopath. She tried me on like, you know, I was, you know, because I've been suffering with not just acid reflux, but anxiety problems, sleep problems, eye problems. So I was on like omega six and zinc and what else? Um, um, Oh, some, some others. I'm sorry, I can't remember everything, but I, I, I've been through so much. I And they tried me on a bunch of stuff and it didn't really work. Nothing really ever really gets rid of what these issues. And I've just been going through life, really. And it's been a, it's been a struggle. Um, never really feeling myself, just kind of always lethargic. And by the way, before anyone asks about um, tests, I've had every test done. And the only thing that ever really showed up was that I was low in vitamin D, which I've been correcting for the last two years. And uh, my recent tests showed that I'm in range now. Uh, I, I've even had um, uh, tests for um, autoimmune disease. And yeah, nothing really shows up. So it's, it's just been, the only thing that really has ever helped me truly with uh, acid reflux was uh and still to this day is um gaviscon which just just takes the edge off everything for me so i still use that to this day um i'm probably missing some stuff out but um the the last kind of i, I did start you know i was I, I did start working again actually summer last year and things were going well and I was doing a lot more. I, I'd lost a ton of weight and um, I started getting back to work and then things just always seem to go downhill again. So, you know, 
my, I'll put it this way, my reflux is nothing like it used to be, okay? Right now, I don't have too many problems with it. What I have, what has ended up happening to me is in, so I, I will say this, my mother, part, my mum passed away in November, which was um, devastating. So it's not been long, it's only been a few months still. Uh, we were very close. Um, I looked after her. She'd been quite a sick woman for some time, but it was still a shock that she passed. But uh, so the, the last six months of that have been a bit crazy. But just as that was happening, I was starting to have some problems with my bowels where I was passing blood. And um, long story short, I was it got a bit scary because I was having tests for cancer at one point. And I don't want to scare anyone, okay? It's not cancer, by the way. Um, but I had all these tests and they sent me for a colonoscopy, which they discovered, and it's a little bit vague what they discovered, but they basically said colitis. So, and I've been okay with it, but I had a month where I was really, really sick with this colitis, blood, passing blood, bad stomach aches, just really unwell. Uh, up the hospital a couple of times, bad joint pain, it causes joint pain, and um, and I kind of recovered, and now in July, I will be see, going back to see a gastroenterologist again, and I'm going to revisit my uh, reflux problems, um, so, I, so it looks like I have colitis, um, but since my mum passed, life has been really, I, I, I've obviously, you know, not been cut up, always full transparency with you guys as well that um you know my mental health i've always struggled with kind of depression and anxiety problems and uh, it got really bad and i was drinking a lot more and just not giving a fuck and just didn't really care um and that's gonna happen you know it's when you lose someone so close you're gonna um you're gonna struggle Right. Some people deal with it better than others. I, I struggled. I still struggle. But right as this second, I'm in a good place. My reflux isn't really bothering me. I do have a slight cold. I have to be honest, I'm coughing up some crap, but that'll go. It's not major. And my reflux problems aren't overly bothering me, really, at all. Um, I don't have any of those major problems I used to have in the past, you know, like a feeling in the throat or like burning or just anything extreme the extreme symptoms i don't seem to have that at the, at the minute and i have you know it goes up and down over the last years um so at the minute i'm good i'm good i'm working i'm tr uh training again i put weight back on um probably a little bit too much uh, but i'm working on that um, so things are, 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 are good right this second, considering, all things considering, they're not perfect. I obviously have some issues, but, but that's where I am. Look, I had to keep it short and sweet. I, I don't want to make these videos too long, but if you've got any more questions, um, put them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them in the a, in a, in a next video. I want to maybe do a few more videos maybe a little bit more on mental health. Um, I've just, you know, the last two years, what I've noticed is a massive, massive pandemic with people's mental health. The I, I know a lot of people have committed suicide. I know a lot of people with drinking drug problems. I know a lot of people, I, I, I swear to God, eight out of 10 people I speak to at the minute seem to have be on some sort of mental health medication or just suffering in silence. So that's something I, I, I want to speak on a little bit more because that's something a day to day for me where I, where I, where, where, and I know a lot of you people do as well, uh, struggle with that. So um, skipping over things, I'm probably missing stuff out uh, as well. But um, yeah, any questions, put them in the comments and the next video I, I do, um, I'll address a bunch of stuff, I think, but, um, thanks for, 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 you know, for reaching out all the time and sorry, I don't get back to everyone, but yeah, it's just, I just wanted a break from, from talking about being sick for so long. Put it this way. 
the way I was two years ago was, you know, I, I, I couldn't go, leave the house. To where I am today is a lot better. It can get better. I think it's something that we live with our whole lives potentially, and it can flare up. Um, but but things can be good. Things can be good, and I want everyone to stay positive. So, thank you so much for watching, um, and uh, we'll we'll catch up real soon. Thank you.